When it comes to prom, there are two kinds of girls. The ones that have everything planned out in the ninth grade, and the ones who planned it the week before. And I was definitely in the first category. I can honestly say prom was one of the most fun days of my life. All the planning, all the appointments that day, pictures with friends, being with my boyfriend, everything about it was really amazing. I had so much fun at prom. And the reason I'm doing this video now, rather than in prom season, is that the exact videos I was looking for at this time of the year last year are videos like this and I couldn't find any to watch. I was obsessed with prom. I had watched every prom get ready with me, every picking the prom dress, every single video like that, and there were none that just explained the process of getting ready for prom and the best timeline to use. So today, I'm bringing to you the ultimate prom timeline of everything you have to get ready for prom. <laughs> Now here we have our prom in June, so this is all centered around if your prom is in June, but if your prom is in a different month, just shift everything by a little bit and everything will be perfectly fine. So like throughout this video, I'll just put a few pictures of me at prom because prom is so much fun and I am blessed that I'm actually going to prom again in June. I mean, my boyfriend hasn't actually asked me yet, but we've been dating for a really long time now, so I have a feeling I'm going to get to go with him and I'm actually in the process of getting all this stuff all set up all over again so I can go to prom again. So the first important thing to do when you're going to prom is to set a budget. And this should be the first thing you do because if you don't set a budget and you start buying things, there's no chance you can stick to it. So figure out what you want your prom budget to be and then stick to it. For me, I have to admit I didn't really set a budget last year because I wanted, I wanted to be able to do everything the best I possibly could. And I was really blessed that my parents were happy to chip in. So absolutely ask your parents and see if they'll help you out. Instead of giving me a Christmas gift last year, my dad and his wife just gave me money toward prom and I appreciated it so much. What they gave me actually covered half of my dress and my dress was like, my dress was exorbitantly expensive. It was ridiculous. So once you set a budget, figure out how you're going to make it work. So if you need to work to have that money, you need to start working. If you need to ask people or if you need to tell everyone for my birthday, for Christmas, for all these upcoming gifts I want money, that's what you have to start doing. So you have to start thinking this out because if you get to prom day and you don't have money for your nails, hair, makeup, tan, it's going to really, really suck. So the second thing you need to do is find a dress. Now, for example, in Halifax, it's almost a bit late to be buying a dress now. All the dress stores get their stock in in November and in January. So I guess right now you can be there for the second wave, but they get their stock in November and in January, and then those are the prime times to buy dresses. After that, you're having to buy things that are off the rack rather than ordering them in, and that means you'll get to choose your color, might not get to choose the right size, and chances are people will already have that dress. Now, personally, I wasn't a huge fan of dresses in Halifax. I tried on, I am sure hundreds of dresses. I tried on everything that came into all of the stores. I had some of the stores order things for me to try specially, and I just didn't like any of them. And what happened was, I was just scrolling through my Instagram, and I saw um, Buff Bunny, and she had posted a picture of her at a red carpet event in a dress, and I clicked on the dress manufacturer, and I fell in love. And that sucked, because the dress was in Australia, it cost so much, the dress actually wasn't that expensive in itself, but the import to Canada was going to be around $300. It was absolutely crazy. So I spent a few months convincing myself it was the right dress, convincing my parents, speaking to the company, asking them what we could do about imports and duties, and then just the biggest blessing happened to me. My friend's mom was traveling to Australia and we were able to get it shipped to her hotel and she was able to bring it back for me and that was just... I am so grateful because I don't know how I would have been able to afford the dress otherwise. It would have been so incredibly expensive. And this was actually kind of scary for me because that meant I didn't get my dress until April when my prom was on June 8th. And getting your prom dress very far in advance is extremely important because you're going to need alterations, you need to buy accessories, you need to match a tie to the color of your dress. So you want to get the dress as soon as you possibly can. Now, it might seem a little bit boring to have your dress sitting in your cupboard for months, but it really helps. Another important reason to get your prom dress in advance is to figure out what kind of shape you need to be in to fit in your dress. So my dress was a really tight dress, so I wanted to dedicate myself. I wanted to be pretty lean, I wanted to work on my back, widening it out and toning it. I wanted to work on my butt and having it look good in my dress. So if you get a tight dress, you can work toward that. If you get a looser dress, you can work to whatever your goals are for that. So that will really help you decide on what your goals are fitness-wise if you get your dress sooner rather than later. So the next thing you have to do is book all of your appointments and you have to really think about all the important ones that are to make. For me, I had a tanning appointment, nail appointment, hair appointment, and makeup appointment. So I booked my hair and my makeup in January when my prom was in June. 
and then in March my makeup um, artist she stopped responding to all my emails texts and calls so I booked another makeup artist at that time which I was really blessed for and then I booked my tan about a month before prom and I booked my And I booked my nails only a few days before prom because I was going to like a really small nail place and they know me really well so they were able to fit my friends and I in. But booking all those really far in advance is so important, especially because like for example with me, with a makeup artist just disappearing out of the blue, it meant I was able to still have time left to book someone else. Whereas if I had only found out she was gonna bail on me a few days before prom, I don't know who I would have got to do my makeup. Other thing, and this ties back into the budget thing, is if you book these all really far in advance, you know exactly what your set costs for prom are going to be. So my makeup was however much money, my hair was this much, I could add all that up and I knew exactly how much money I was going to spend on the day of prom. So you want to get your hair and your makeup done on the day of prom, obviously, and you want to get your hair done first and your makeup done second. Now I know lots of people who for my prom got their makeup done first and then their hair done, that's totally fine too. But I wasn't really a huge fan of the idea of having my makeup done and then having someone like touching all over my hair because I didn't want to risk them like ruining it or getting hairspray on my face or something. So that's just the way I did that. I got my tan done two days before prom. And what's important with a tan if you're going to get one done is to go about a month before that and get a practice tan done to figure out how you like it. So I went a month before and I got a medium tan and I waited a few days to see when I liked the color the best and I knew that after three days is when I liked the color the best. So I got my tan three days before prom. And then the last appointment I had was my nail appointment, which I told you guys I got done the day before prom. So at my school how it works is you have all of your exams and then the next day is prom. So I finished out my exam the day before, I went and got my nails done, and, I, and then the next day was prom. You don't want to get your nails done too far in advance, and you don't want to get your nails done before your spray tan. There's always a risk of the tan staining your nails. Something you want to do at the same time you're booking your appointments is book a photographer. Now this was really easy for me because my dad is an absolutely amazing photographer. I knew because I had him for my grad, he'd been taking pictures of me my entire life, I knew that no matter what I was going to like the pictures he did. So I didn't have to book him, he was just coming to my prom anyway and he took some amazing photos. But um, you're going to want to book a photographer and this is one of the things you really should do pretty far in advance because if everyone at your school is booking a photographer, they're, you're going to run out of them really quick. Next thing you need to do is find a date. Now, having a date for prom obviously is not necessary, but it makes it a lot more fun and it makes your pictures, necessarily, not necessarily look better, but it makes your pictures a bit more fun if you can do all like the cute boy girl poses. So my prom date was just automatically set for me. It was my boyfriend, we'd already been dating for three years by the time prom came around, so it's not like it was any shock we went together. But the reason you need to pick your date ahead of time is so that you can match a tie, a boutonniere, a pocket square, whatever it is that you want to match, you should do that really far in advance or it's hard to find matching colors. If you're going to do a prom proposal, that's something you have to plan out in advance too. So although it was obvious my boyfriend and I were going to go to prom together, we had our prom proposal a few months before. And I think I'm going to do a whole video on different prom proposal ideas for prom 2019, but the way I did it I thought was actually really, really cute. And I'll tell the whole story of that in that video. Once that video is done, I'll link it down below. Actually, I'll link my whole prom playlist down below. So after you have a date, you're going to want to start buying accessories. And the reason I told you to wait on accessories until you have a date, or if you know you're going to have a date, is so that you can match everything together. So my prom accessories with my red dress were a pair of gold shoes, a pair of gold sparkly earrings, um, a gold clutch. My friend actually, she lent me a necklace for prom. And then for my boyfriend, I picked up a little bow tie. It was so cute. Um, I didn't get him a pocket square, and then he went to a flower shop and bought the corsage and boutonniere, which is something you also need to order ahead of time, maybe like just a few days ahead of time so that gets done in time. So after all that, you're going to want to start having your practice appointments, which is what I talked about before. So definitely get a practice tan. If you're going to have a tan for prom, it is imperative that you have a practice one. Um, makeup, it depends on how much you trust your makeup artist. I had the utmost trust for makeup artist. She is known so well in Halifax for being the absolute best. I will link her below because anyone in Halifax, you should go to this woman. She is amazing. But um, there was no reason for me to have a practice done. It would have been really expensive to have a practice done, but also it just would have been unnecessary because I knew she was going to do an amazing job either way. I think I'm definitely going back to her this year. I already have my appointment booked, actually. I am so excited. She is so good at what she does. Instead of me saying, here's a look I wanted for prom, I showed her my dress and then she did something to match it and it was just perfect. 
but if you're going to a smaller makeup artist or if you're just not sure what the quality is going to be like, it's always a good choice to go and have a practice session first. And the same goes for hair. I had no reason to have a hair practice done either. I, I was sure that my hair person was going to do an amazing job, so I wasn't stressed about it at all. But if you're worried about it, it's always good to have that practice done. And a lot of people will offer a package. I know at a lot of the hair salons, they had like, instead of it costing you twice to have your hair done, it only costs like one and a half times. So if that's worth it to you, then that's absolutely a good idea. Now for me with nails, I had had gel nails done a bunch of times before and I knew the quality of the salon I was going to. I knew they were gonna do a really good job and I knew they could do what I wanted them to do. So I really didn't have any reason to go to practice done on that. But if you've never had gel nails before, I totally recommend getting a practice done because otherwise you're not gonna be used to having gel nails for prom and it's kind of hard to do things that very first day of getting them done. And if you're not used to it, honestly, it kind of hurts just like a little bit on your nails. So definitely do that. So at some point you're gonna have to buy your tickets that will obviously be through your school or whoever you go to prom with. But for me, it was just a couple weeks before prom. I had to put in how many people were going. So it was like my family, my boyfriend and I, and then what we were gonna have as our prom meal. So that's just something you have to keep in mind is that you're gonna have to pay for those tickets. So definitely consider that when you do your budget. After this, I'm gonna, I would say at this point, you're about a month out from prom. It's important to start focusing on your skincare. So I was doing face masks, hydrating masks, clearing masks. I was focusing on my diet, I was focusing on having enough water. There's a lot of things you can do to make sure that your skin is really good for prom and you really have to focus on that. Now, as you get really close to prom, I'm talking in that last week is when all the appointments come up, you have your hair, makeup, all of that. Plus, it's time to start whitening your teeth if that's something you're interested in. I used Crest White Strips leading up to prom so that my teeth would be all shiny and sparkly new for the time we got to prom. So I think that is most of the things that I wanted to mention about um, everything leading up to prom and a good timeline of things you have to get done. I'm sure there are other things you have to get done for prom too, but those are the ones that really stuck out to me as important. I think I'm gonna do another um, video on like how to do prom on a budget because I think that's a really important thing for people to consider too because I don't know, for me, I was really saving for this. I was lucky to have my parents involved, but for some people prom is a really big expense and there are some really easy ways to do prom on a budget that I'd love to share with you guys. But as I mentioned, I think this is gonna be an entire like group of videos I'm gonna do because I don't know, I found this was really missing from YouTube last year when I was looking for them. There was all kinds of prom get ready with me and I swear I'll do one of those when it comes to prom this year, but there weren't a lot of getting ready leading up to prom type things. So I think this is gonna be something that I do on my channel. So some of the ones I'm gonna do for sure are prom on a budget, prom posal ideas, just all that fun stuff. But anyway, guys, I'm so appreciative of you watching this video and liking and subscribing to my channel. Honestly, I can't believe I already have like 23 or something subscribers. Honestly, like I know it's not a lot, that's like so few, but I don't know. I didn't expect to have more than 10 subscribers, so it's kind of cool that some people are interested in what I'm doing. And I don't know, I've just been talking to a lot of friends and people are being so nice about it and I appreciate that so much. So anyway, like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.